If you're in a job that you don't like, recognize you're probably like most of the world. I mean, every job has its garbage detail. <laughs> there is no perfect job. But while we're in Western culture, we tend to live under the myth that our real goal is to get a job where we fulfill all our desire that matches all our gifts, where we're totally fulfilled every day in what we do. And while you might find that job for a period in life, what we must know is that in a fallen world, there are no perfect jobs. In fact, there are jobs that we do for the sake of our family, for the sake of income, for survival, that sometimes necessitate that we may do really hard, difficult, dirty, discouraging jobs. I mean, so many people in the world do jobs that are repetitive, mind-numbing, and not fulfilling in terms of we get to use our gifts to the max every day. So how do we handle that? You know, I, I uh, went to a conference one time out in, uh, in the western United States, uh, the Northwest, and went to one of the nation's largest cheese producing factories. And uh, there I watched a man who all day stood beside a conveyor belt to straighten a chunks of cheese so they could rightly be packaged on a conveyor belt. And I was so thankful that was not my job. <laughs> you know, he just stood there all day and I don't know, every, every 10 or 12 chunks of cheese, he would just straighten a little bit so it would go through the packaging uh, mill properly. And I think, wow, what a terrible job. Well, I have no idea the, the capacities or the interest of the person involved, but I have to think what I sometimes call the George Bailey test. You know, remember George Bailey in the movie, It's a Wonderful Life, who got the opportunity to see what would life be like had he not lived, had he not fulfilled his earlier purposes in life. And I think about that man who was straightening cheese chunks. If he didn't do that, well, then the hygiene of the cheese could not have been maintained. It could not have been properly packaged, which means that the bacteria could have affected the cheese, which means that people could have gotten sick, which means that the cheese would not be bought from the factory, which means that the factory would not continue to be able to market and employ people who have families. And suddenly you recognize that this man, just by straightening cheese, is maintaining a company that maintains jobs so families can be maintained. And if he were not doing that, all of that would be damaged. Sometimes what we are enabled to do in God's blessing is consider the downstream effects of not doing a job that is no fun at all. And you begin to recognize that the world works, families are taken care of, because we sometimes sacrifice to do the jobs that are not pleasant, but are maintaining the culture, the family, the society, the people that God intends to bless by what we do. So when we're in a job that we don't like so much, apply the George Bailey test. If you didn't do it, if nobody did it, what would be the effects upon the world? And suddenly we began to recognize that even in the onerous jobs, there is a glory that God intends for his people as they do what needs to be done.